Hey, so this is this is Dan with CareStream Dental. I am going to show you a new a tool that I learned that is available and really back by popular demand. It's something that was available in the CareStream Dental 3D viewing software in earlier versions. And uh, CareStream Dental, I would imagine, because we had so many folks that were asking for it back again, uh, brought it back in the latest version uh, that we have in the CareStream Dental 3D viewing software, and that is version 3.10.26. Um, if you don't have this version, uh, you can go to carestreamdental.com, request the download there. You can reach out to your local rep, to your IT company. Um, there are some specs that you need in order to be able to, for this to work on your computer. Um, but uh, if you are one who is looking forward to having this back, then uh, this is uh, really exciting news. So basically what this is, it's uh, what we call pixel intensity. And in the lower right section of this workspace, uh, we can see that there is a numeric value that changes as I move the cursor through the radiograph. So here we're in, um, this is a local scan that was taken for implant. And uh, as I move that around, we can see that number change. And as I kind of move that down into the canal, we can see that number get lower. Um, as I move that into uh, less dense bone, we can see that number get lower and even go into the negatives. And as I move that over a tooth, we can see that number get much higher. So the higher the number, the denser the material, that's what it's supposed to correlate to. And but the the challenge that we've had this with this in the past is some folks uh, referred to this as a, uh, a value indicating Hounsfield units. And that's not what this should be mistaken for. It really has everything to do with the, uh, the brightness or the darkness of the pixels that are displayed uh, in the CareStream Dental 3D viewing software. So um, I'm gonna show you how to turn this on in the, in the uh, preferences. Uh, I'll show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna go in the, up to the gears here where it says edit preferences. And in the MPR tab in preferences, we have right here this toggle where it says show pixel intensity value. If you check that and then click on apply or click on OK, you will need to close and reopen the radiograph in order for this to show up. But um, I'll show you the, uh, uh, you know, the practical example that we have here. So I'm going to move over to the... Uh, implant site okay there is that implant site so as we can see uh, down in the transaxial view the center view as we have this you know 327 275 um, the value is a little bit higher definitely on the cortical plate okay um, and then as we move that into the nerve canal we can see that number dip down into the negatives so again you know this pixel value is intended to kind of give an idea of density in the radiographs this is not Hounsfield units uh, so just keep that in mind as you use this new tool um, I hope this helps you all out have a great day